This meter is made by a company called Kent. Type of meter is what they call a master, which is a semi-positive displacement type of meter. And it's 50 mil in size, which means that the pipe entering the meter is probably a two inch, and the pipe leaving is probably a two inch. Um, and the dial has five black and white digits, two white on red digits, the black digits recording cubic meters, the red di digits recording liters. And for every revolution of the red sweep hand, the uh, meter records 10 liters, which can actually be seen on the dial there. One revolution equals 10 liters. So John's now going to um, show you how easy it is to uh, to put the wrong dial on this sort of meter. Do you know what? Actually, it's not even screwed on. I don't know if you can see that, but this, this shroud, this black shroud, holds the copper can register in place, and it should be secured with a screw, which is still there, and a bolt which was missing, so I didn't even have to unscrew it. I could just pull it apart, I can go to one side, and then literally, it is just a case of removing that, and as you can see, when I remove it, the dial stops moving. When I put it back on, the dial starts to move again. Ow, I'm getting bitten. Shit. If I remove the dial, you'll be able to see that when I place the dial back onto the meter, it springs into place. That's because within the meter body, there's a, a piston, which is recording the flow of water that's passing through the meter. And that's connected to some cogs and gearing, which is connected to a magnet that is within the body. And that gearing moves that magnet around. And this copper can register, has got a corresponding magnet in, which um, drives the revolution of this red sweep hand, and hence these dials here. That's how you get a connection between the register and the meter, which is why you can take these dials off, and if need be, sometimes the dial can get smashed, because maybe the meter readers drop the, the lid and smash the glass, and this has become unreadable, or, Sometimes what can happen is the cogs within the actual register can fail. So I think they're just plastic and over time they can shear. Quite often when you go from something like 7,999 or 72,999 to 73,000, so the movement of all five dials at the same time uh, can, can cause the dials to fail, which then allows you very cost effectively to exchange the dial without the much more cost effect or a costly solution of having to replace the whole meter. Um, but these dials come in in different types. You can get one revolution for 10 liters, one revolution for 100 liters, and one revolution for 1,000 liters. So what you've got to be careful of is that you actually put the right dial back on the meter.